I'm very excited to share with you a mind-buying lesson that I have on the Parshas Noah. But first, I'd like to share with you a most beautiful story that I heard from the great Rebbitz and Rishel Cutler of blessed memory. I wish you all could hear Rebbitz and Rishel say over this story. She was around eight years old. It was in the fall time, and she goes over to her mom and asked her mom if she could have a, if she could have a new coat. Her mom said, of course you could have a new coat, only if you really think that you need it. Maybe you don't really need it. Think about it for a couple of days. And after Shabbos, if you still want the coat, no problem, I'll take you and get the coat. That Shabbos after lunch, the Rebbitson and her mother took a walk in all the Jewish neighborhoods. I wish I could get Rebbitz and Rishel to come here and say over how she described that walk. But I'll do the best that I can. Rebbitz and Rishel, when she said this story over, was crying like a baby. They walked through poor neighborhoods. They saw many children playing outside, taking walks, and she noticed that not nobody was wearing a coat as good as the coat that she wanted to replace. And many of them coats were torn, many of them had holes, and they were all outside having a good time. She learned a lot of things that day. Not only did she learn that you have to be happy with your lot, and she really didn't need a new coat. But she learned a lot about how to look at other people's lives. She learned that it's most important to realize that people are, many people are a lot less fortunate than you. And you have to make sure that you do their best, your best to make them feel good. And certainly never try to be a show off and wear something new when they have so little. And it really changed her life forever and she might have become the great Rebbitz and Rachel Cutler a lot because of the great lesson that her mom taught us. There's three ways to learn things. One way to learn thing is for a parent or a teacher to tell a student or a child what is the right thing to do. A second way, which is a better way to do, would be is to set the example. But Rabbits and Cutler's mother was the best teacher. What she did is she set the notions to the fact. She set her up. She planned the whole plan to make it that little Rachel Cutler at seven or eight years old was able to figure out what is most important in life. And that is what is the, the lesson that I want to apply to this week's Parsha, to a question that I had for over 50 years, that this is the answer to it. At that time, the whole world were idol worshippers, including Avram's father, Terach. And Avram was the first person that believed in God, and his mission in life was to try to get people to realize that there's a God in this world. On the other side, his father was, a, was tried to get him killed because he, was an, he, because he was against idol worship and he wanted him killed. Thank God God saved him. So that's the background. Now, the last two sentences in this week's Parsha say like this, that Terach, the father of Avram, the idol worshiper, to try to kill Avram because he was talking about God, takes Avram, his son, and his wife, and his nephew to go travel to Israel to be in the presence of God. So the question is rather obvious. Well, how did everything switch? It's impossible for Avram to be a Kamal tag along with Terak doing something that he was opposite what he wanted. 
So before I give you the answer, the first thing you have to understand for sure is Avram's mission in life was to convert people to believe in God. And he obviously did a good, he did a great thing with his father also, and he convinced his father to believe in God. But we still have the question, where, where did Terach become a leader here? The answer is obvious. Not only was Rachel Cutler's mother a brilliant teacher in that very special way, but Avram also was the first brilliant special teacher, and he set up this whole trip to come from his father Terach that he would say, let's go to Israel, Avram. Avram told him that, you know, God, do you believe in God? His presence is in Canaan. And he told him that specifically because he wanted Terach to understand, okay, if that's true, let's go. Avram, what are you doing here? Sar, what are you doing here? Let's go. And therefore, it was, we all know, if you think about it, it's so clear and obvious. If you get the person not only to want to do the right thing, but you get him to have the plan at the initiation, it's his idea, he so much more will want to do it. So let's learn, all of us, every one of us can do it. It's very simple. Just learn from Rishel's mother and Avram that when we want our kids or students to do something special, let's not tell them word for word what to do. Let's set them up, let them learn to do it on their own, suggest to do good things, to visit people in a hospital, to take care of a younger kid, all kinds of things, let them do it, and they all will be better and so will we.